When they're checking the forecast, a scorcher out there, Brandon. Already, it's 9 o'clock in the morning, and the heat index has already hit 100 degrees over in Fort Lauderdale. Same at Pompano Beach, already hit 100. Feels like 101 degrees already down in Key West. We look at that heat index number because that tells us that combination of heat in the middle 90s today plus all the extra humidity we have on top of that makes it feel a lot hotter and makes it harder for your body to cool itself off. So heat advisory in place for all of South Florida today through at least 8 o'clock. Parts of South Florida could be extended with this even into tomorrow. We'll see how that plays out. But that heat index running 105 to 110 degrees today. We also have the chance for a few storms. Coverage at 30%, so not everyone's going to get lucky enough to get some rain. But we will have to watch out that these storms don't become too strong because there's a possibility we could get an isolated severe thunderstorm today. Damaging wind gusts, frequent lightning, and hail will be the main threats. The timeline for this is after 2 p.m. through sunset. So there's still plenty of dry time today and the highest chances for these storms that impact uh, certain areas will be up towards Broward County. That's where later on today, this is four o'clock. Some of those storms will move out of Palm Beach County and clip parts of Fort Lauderdale. I don't think we'll see as much in Miami Dade coming up. We'll talk about even higher storm chances tomorrow and when the heat breaks coming up.